this election cycle, which is now underway. Uh, what about the stories that uh, these campaign funds are now paying for legal fees and it's and you're involved in that. But the bottom line is the way that they're trying to take out Donald Trump is through the legal process. So he's being forced to spend money on legal defense, which should be spent on the discussion of critical ideas and critical issues. People want to hear the issues. They don't want to relitigate 2020. And that's exactly what the special counsel, I should say Merrick Garland, Merrick Garland and the Biden administration had to sign off on this indictment. And what they've really done is invited now a relitigation of 2020, but this time in a criminal court, which is unprecedented. No sitting president has ever been criminally charged for his views, for taking a position. And by the way, is there any doubt there's two systems of justice in the United States? Was Hillary Clinton prosecuted for the Russian hoax? Were, were those individuals who said, don't worry about the Biden, uh, the, the Biden laptop because it's just Russian disinformation, are they being prosecuted? No. Only one person in America is being prosecuted for his political beliefs. And that should send a chill, a warning to every single American who one day wants to get up and say, this is what I believe in. I disagree with the Biden administration, but these are the beliefs I have. Because every person who does that now is subject to a potential criminal case.